So I've started up a, a little plugin in our plugin section and I've activated it and currently it's doing nothing. So I'm going to first of all namespace it so that uh, I don't have any conflicts whatsoever. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on uh, the GraphQL syntax that's needed to get this moving for us to be able to query our custom post types. So we're going to hit uh, the custom post types and we'll see that we have a small code snippet here of uh, how we can be able to create a new custom post type that's going to handle data. And for example, here we're given one that's talking about docs. So I'm going to copy all of this come back into our shortcode here and of course when I save this and come back to our back end and reload it you'll see that we have a new docs and if we were to do a GraphQL query we can actually query for the docs in here uh, by going for documents and then in the documents we shall get the edges then in the edges we shall get the nodes and in each node we can have an ID, we can have a title, and we can have the content of uh, each individual document. So when we play, when we hit play, we actually see no content comes back because we don't have any docs in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add a new doc in here. That's our title and I'll give it some lorem ipsum and then publish this. So if I come back and hit query here, we'll see that we have our title and we have our content actually showing up in our data endpoint. So, but in this particular case, I am not looking for creating a new document. In here, you will see that we tap into the hook of init. When WordPress is initialized, we then add a function which registers a post type called docs. And we show it in the UI, we give it a label and we call it docs and then we show it in GraphQL, it's hierarchical and then we give it a singular name for GraphQL, we give it a plural name for GraphQL because as we are querying here uh, and we add document, we can query for one document and get its ID for example, uh, we're able to do that but we are also able to look for when there are many and just add documents. So that's why we need a, both a plural and a singular name uh, which are thrown in the end. So if we wanted to add our custom post type, for example, we want to get matches, clubs or players, we have to just add a filter. Now this filter is what we call a register post type arg that is part of the WP GraphQL plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come here and overwrite this. And in here we're going to look for the post type uh, by coming back here to our match. When we hit matches, we'll see right here at the bottom that it calls it SP event. So that's our post type. We also have a post type called SP team we have a post type of SP player, we have a post type of SP staff. So we have staff, player, team, and event. So I'll just note those down here. So those are the post types we're going to be looking for. Now, in order not to repeat all of this, I am going to have to make it a little bit dynamic, but for one, let's just start with this SP player save, we'll call this a uh, player and then I uh, will call these uh, players for plural. So I'm going to come back here. I have a number of players in my uh, in my post type so that won't give us a headache. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for players and you can see that uh, our self-documenting endpoint is already giving us that. So we'll go for the edges, and then look for the nodes, the node, and then we start getting the individual ID of the player, we get the title, uh, right there we can get a featured image, and in the featured image we're able to hit, when you hit uh, control uh, space by it gives you all the options that are available. So we're able to get a URI, and when we hit play here, 
able to see that uh, we have Spencer Duncan, whose ID is that, we have featured image on them, and a lot more information that can come from uh, the players. We have content, we have content type, we have terms, we have template, we have slug, we have slaters. A lot more information that is not yet available because by default, this post type hasn't been queried to get all the full information. So most of these you will see are actually meta data that is added onto the post type. In order to work out all our other pieces, we are going to just add this information here. So we'll have an event, and then we'll have events here, all matches, and we're going to do the same for team. So we'll get this, then we'll get the club, then we'll get the clubs, and eventually I'm going to duplicate this, and we're going to add stuff, call this a stuff, and then we'll call this a stuff persons. So if I come back, I can look for clubs, I'm going to get uh, their edges, then I'll get their node, then I'll get their ID, then I'll get their title. If we come down here, we actually have our clubs showing up as we've added them onto our GraphQL endpoint. Oh, instead of players, let me change this and call them uh, staff persons with a capital P. You'll see that I have all these people coming back and then I also have the clubs showing up on the same endpoint so I can query for only the data that I need at that exact time. We can also get uh, the events, so we'll uh, reload this here to see the schema if it comes through. So we have events here, and when we hit play, we actually get back our events, our title, our content, and that's how you add a custom post type to your WP GraphQL endpoint.